Okay, reverse words in a string, three. Okay, this is pretty similar to a question that we did before, uh, which is to, um, I think that is one of my popular videos in my channel. So uh, I think that question asked me to reverse um, each word. Oh, reverse the order of the words. So it will be contest, lico, take, let's. So if you haven't watched that, you can go to my pay channel, check it out. But uh, for this uh, question, it's asking us to reverse the word, just the word. Now, so let's will be reversed as like this. Wait, hold up. Okay. Um, let's will be reversed as this, and then take will be reversed. E K A T. Okay. Um, Seems so pretty straightforward. I think the tricky part of this question is that we need to uh, consider when the index reaches the end of the string. So what I'm thinking right now is that we can check if the current character while we tra while we traverse the string, we can see if the current character is a space. If it is, then that means that we are in between words. So we'll need another index, which is let's call anchor, right? So we'll have anchor at the beginning of the word, and we will have an, an index, traverse index, to uh, check if the current position is a space. If it is, then we will reverse this, and then we move on to the next word until we meet the until we reach the end of the string okay now after we have reached the end of the string uh, now we can check if the index is the, at the end and then we can reverse accordingly okay so um, so first we need a anchor we need an anchor index and uh, and now we will need to, well, because this is Java, so we all have to, uh, convert, we'll have to convert this string to an uh, array of characters. Because we can't really do string manipulation in space like uh, C does. So, well, first of all, we'll convert this, uh, let's say, how do we, Call it. Let's just let's go to um, string str. Let's go. It's just it's just a string. So string and uh, s dot to char array. Okay, and uh, we will have an anchor index. Now we just need to traverse the string. So i is equal to zero. I less than str dot length and i plus plus okay hold up what is this okay so we have um the anchor index first of all we need to check if the current so first is is there any assumptions made by this question in each word each word is separated by a single space and there will not be an extra space so we can safely assume that we can just check one space uh, but could there be uh, each word be separated by a single space will not be extra space in the string there will not be extra space in the string so we can safely assume that in, in the beginning and at the end there won't be any uh, there won't be any spaces. Okay, so uh, first of all, we will check if the current uh, well if the current character is a space. Now, if it is, then what do we do? So if it is, then we will we'll do a reversal uh, with the, with the previous with the previous word. So uh, let's say it's a reverse. Let's say we have already written this reverse function, and then we'll put uh, array, and then anchor, 
and then the current index. Now we need to minus one because well the, the index is at the space. Uh, and then after we have done this, we need to move the anchor forward to is equal to i plus one, right? Because i right now is space plus one is moving the anchor uh, um, b b ahead of the space. Okay, so if this, mm, then we will reverse it, and then if now there's there's another situation is that if if it's not and we have reached else if i else if i has reached the end of the uh, has reached the end of the has reached the end of the string then we can reverse because there's no uh, space so if i is equal to str.length minus 1 and then if it's equal to this then we can reverse str anchor and then i okay <clears throat> so and then after this we will oh so since we have reached the end of the since we have already reached the end of the string we don't need to move the anchor anymore so at the end we'll return how do you convert a character array to um, convert character array to string java use string constructor new cause okay so you just initialize you just initialize a new string constructor and then you uh, plug in the character array so return new string str okay so how much time we have left? We have eight minutes. <clears throat> oh what well, we forgot about one thing. Um, we need to also write a method. I assume too much. So we also need to write the method, right? Reverse uh, the reverse the array of the character array right so uh, let's say a r array or let's just call it str right and then we'll have the start uh, and then we'll have the end so while start is less than equal to end we will have <clears throat> <clears throat> so we'll swap them, right? Uh, so str, uh, now we have to initialize a temp, which is str, uh, let's say start. And then we will have <clears throat> str start equal to str end. Well, and assign the end character to start and then uh, str end will be assigned by the temp and then after this will increase so um, since we can actually just do end minus minus and start plus plus here and this should be good okay um, Hmm, let's see. Let's take legal contest. So let's see if I have six minutes. Let's, let's just eyeball it real fast. <clears throat> so we'll uh, have an anchor at zero for da 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 da. So anchor is at zero, right? Okay, so if i is not is although i 
i is not equal to zero at this point so we'll keep advancing until we meet until we reach here so this is a uh, space so now uh we're at this point and uh we'll call this function reverse and then we we'll plug in str anchor anchor is at zero right now and then we'll reverse uh, i minus one from anchor to i minus one so uh, we'll reverse this <coughs> and then uh, anchor is equal to i plus one so anchor is at t uh, the position of t uh, and then event i will be advancing advancing to okay so pretty much that's pretty much that's the same thing at this point and uh we just need to check if we have, after we have reached the contest so anchor is a c and uh, i i i i is not equal to so if i so i is not okay so i is not in a space but i is somehow equal to the length of the string uh, minus one which is the last uh index uh, and then we'll just reverse this okay Looks about right. Let's see. Finish. Uh, okay, looks pretty good. Uh, let's submit it. Accepted. Okay, perfect. All right, this is a pretty easy question. Uh, I guess the tricky part is here. This second, I feel like I have about four minutes. I'll explain this a little bit. And I feel like what can we optimize here is that um, uh, I feel like what can we optimize here is um, so if it's not a space, it's still checking here. So every time we go through a word, it's checking if i is equal to this. So it's, it's do a little bit of extra check. However, um, we can do this check for once. We can do this check only once, right? Outside of this loop. So we can we can instead of we don't have to check this, and we can just. Do str dot length minus one. This will still work. Except that, yeah. Um, I mean, it's not a huge optimization, but at least we don't have to check. Uh, I don't have to check if the index has reached the end of the string every time, if the character is not a space. But provided that we are making a huge assumption here. We're making a huge assumption based off of this note. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.